ITP, while it's a rare disease, is a reasonably well-known one. It occurs when children or adults, but in this case we're talking about children, make antibodies to their platelets, destroy their platelets, inhibit their ability to make platelets with the same antibodies, and therefore have very low platelet counts. They usually present with bruises and petechiae, and occasionally with bleeding from the mouth and nose. And that's what ITP is, this autoimmune thrombocytopenia. Okay. The most exciting new development in clinical trials of children with chronic ITP is the use of the two new thrombopoietic agents. At this point, they're not so new anymore. One is called Romaplostin or N-plate, and the other one is called l or Promacta. They were both licensed for adults with chronic ITP in the second half of 2008 <clears throat> and have revolutionized the care of patients with low platelet counts and now starting to include patients not just with ITP. In children, their only work so far has been in ITP, and one of the agents, l was licensed approximately a year ago, and Romaplostin will probably be licensed soon. The data that was presented here at this meeting followed up <clears throat> on some of the basic data that had been created. With Romaplostin, there was a small randomized study in between 2006 or 7 and 2010, published in 2011, which had very good results and good safety, but only involved 22 patients. The study presented here, the initial one, was a follow-up to the randomized study of 63 patients, which was published in The Lancet this past July, and involved a multi-continent study, open label, of up to 200 patients. It's been closed to enrollment, but the patients will be followed for up to two or three years, and the results in those patients continue to look very good. There was one abstract on that study showing the high response rate, how well it worked, the general safety issues. There was a second abstract that looked at the long-term study. This took patients from the very initial study from 2011 but also many patients from the one that was published in The Lancet last July and has followed them for a number of years. The study was recently closed, and so this was the report of the long-term outcome showing that patients continue to respond, they rarely develop side effects, and this is a generally good therapy if you respond to it which is in the range of 50 to 80 percent. It's much better for use actually, as is l in children because they don't have nearly as much problem as adults do with what I consider to be the primary side effects in adults. One side effect is thrombosis, which predominantly affects patients over 60 to 70 and obviously children are not only young, active, and generally healthy, but have good blood vessels so they don't get into trouble with thromboses. Similarly, they are not patients whose bone marrows <clears throat> may be at least partially unhealthy and who may transition their marrows from the what we think of as a relatively healthy marrow with ITP to a not so healthy marrow with myelodysplastic syndrome. So again, in adults that can happen, especially in elderly adults <clears throat> and children, that's very uncommon. So those are the two prime reasons why this treatment's better in children than it is in adults, in my opinion.